White Thunder Jordan 4s, they, they already are loaded up for August 24th on the sneakers app. They're the first thing. These are actually pretty nice. A lot of people were calling these like the Panda Dunk Jordan 4s. They're pretty clean. I Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we're gonna be discussing a special release that's coming out in August, which is this month. So my birthday month, my birthday already passed those August 7th. So you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, drop a happy birthday in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're already 20 seconds of video, so yeah, you definitely gonna see this. So you definitely gotta comment that, you know what I'm saying? Or else you're not a real one. But anyways, though, um, we're gonna get straight in this video. I'm just playing, but um, yeah. Well, I'm not playing, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get in this video. We're gonna be talking, discussing the white thunder jordan fours today so yes sir drop a like drop a sub all that good stuff i don't know if i already said that but yeah we don't get straight into this release they're coming out august 24th if i'm not mistaken let me check real quick okay but yes yeah, so they come out august 24th i'm pretty sure on the sneakers app i don't know if they've already loaded up or not let me check sneakers and see if they've loaded up oh my gosh bro they have loaded up on the sneakers app the white thunder jordan fours i don't know if i'm gonna uh, insert that clip i just gave my like natural reaction but anyways probably not anyway because like i kind of you know anyways i kind of freaked out but yeah White Thunder Jordan 4s, they, are, they already are loaded up for August 24th on the sneakers app. They're the first thing. These are actually pretty nice. A lot of people were calling these like the Panda Dunk Jordan 4s. They're pretty clean. I have a pair of uh, Yellow Thunder 4s coming in in a size 12, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be, that's a nice pair to have. Right now though, looking at market, I'm going to pop up market a little bit. But let's first like go over the details on this shoe. This shoe's pretty decent. It doesn't have Nike Air or, any, or anything on the back, but it has the Jumpman. This shoe is definitely going to be pretty sought after. Looking at stock, there's apparently only going to be like 55,000 of these dropping on sneakers. I could be wrong, but that's like stock numbers. Like that's like that's stock numbers right now. I'm literally looking at the stock numbers right now. Y'all are getting some very exclusive information right here. Apparently, there's only going to be about roughly 50k pairs of these dropping on sneakers app that's not including though all the retailers they are gonna be dropping at a bunch of retailers so yeah i'm gonna go over that they're gonna be dropping at um obviously they're gonna be dropping on sneakers at august 24th but on august 20th they're gonna be um dropping at sh they're gonna do shoe palace uh raffles so go check it go make sure to check out your shoe um your shoe palaces that's around you if you want this pair to you know what i'm saying for the personal or for the flip i don't know these are definitely probably gonna flip i'm not gonna lie this is a nice pair i'm not trying to you know rattled anyone you know these are definitely going to flip though for those who are interested in that but um i'm just not sure they're not going to flip for nothing crazy though but they i feel like these will do better than like the military blues or something like that they'll probably do pretty similar to the bread fours but i don't know the bread fours are way better than these but there's way less stock of these coming out so i do see these doing some like bread for reimagined type numbers like you know i'm not gonna i think my estimated resale for these i'm gonna wait to pull up market but first let's go over where these are gonna be dropping at so yeah make sure to drop a like and so i'm giving you all, all the juice on this shoe you know all the you know what i'm saying all the game so yeah they come out shoe palaces there's gonna be a wall uh a raffle i almost said waffle but yeah there's gonna be a raffle for like all day um at shoe palace for august 20th oh, i'm tuning back in this video make sure to go to your shoe palaces august 20th they're gonna be doing a raffle all day i guess they're just gonna be doing like a one day raffle august 20th you know how shoe palaces are personally i know my, how my shoe palace is i'm not gonna lie there's not a better word to put this they're kind of you know they're a little bit iffy you know like the employees and stuff like to grab pairs early and stuff from their shoe palace so yeah but i have hit at a shoe palace raffle before but it wasn't me apparently every time i get like a girl to do it for me like you know what i'm saying shout out my mom actually my mom won a raffle there so yeah apparently they they favor girls or some over guys because i've never hit at a shoe, pa uh, shoe palace raffle and i've entered for like a, a brick like red cements i didn't hit for the red cements like this stuff like that it's like it's crazy how like i literally entered a raffle for the red cements and i didn't hit but then that's just funny how like that's just funny but then i got my mom to enter up for the industrial blues aka military blues and she ended up hitting at the shoe palace that's local to me but yeah i'll definitely be entering for these i see um i don't know i might go for my personal size but my personal size is a 12 and a half so it's kind of a rare size so I, I don't know i'm probably not gonna go for it there i'm probably just gonna go for like you know a good size that i think will flip because you know i'm gonna grab a couple of these to flip if they are gonna flip i'm gonna be you know uh scoping market but i do see this doing like pretty decent just looking at stock numbers right now there's probably gonna be a good amount of stock in stores though so this you know like sneakers usually has like less stock than like well i, I could be wrong on that but yeah no i'm actually right on that like you're better you're like you have a better shot of like going in stores to get pairs like these like these is this is a gr my bad oh kind of like stutter there but yeah this is like a gr so it's nothing like crazy it's not like an exclusive collab or anything it's just like a white thunder but they haven't done thunders in a minute i feel like they're releasing a lot of jordan 4 colorways but the they have the red thunders the yellow thunders i've always liked the yellow thunders um 
um but I, I like the red thunders way more like my red th the red thunders are my favorite out of the three that they came out with the white ones are the new ones the white ones are like a lot more wearable than the yellow and red ones but i feel like how like the black and yellow and the black and red hits it just hits better than like a black and white but the black and white hits too it just you know it's just a little bit in eh. but hold on let me take a sip of water real quick but yeah to discuss where else these are gonna be dropping at but like i was saying like yeah this pair is like pretty wearable so i do see people liking these but honestly i'm not that basic i like the red thunders more and the yellow thunders are pretty in eh. like i'm not the biggest fan of yellow but the way the yellow and the black hits um, I just remember like Key Glock, the rapper, like he like was wearing them on the album cover. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'll probably pop it on the screen if I'm right, but I'll probably find it pop it on the screen. But yeah, where else are these going to be dropping? They're going to be dropping also at JD Sports and Finish Lines. They'll be doing like an early access, I guess, like on the August 21st and then August 22nd, they'll be doing like the ship to me option. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. If you have like um, JD Sports points, like if you have like status points, make sure if you have, like if you buy a lot with JDs on your account and you get those points, make sure to check out um, for those days august 21st 22nd make sure to be on like the site at like 9 a.m so it's gonna be early in the morning so make sure to like you know stay tuned in for that release it's gonna be august 21st jd sports go on the app um at 9 a.m but like go like 10 minutes or so before so like you don't get like signed out the app type stuff because like it, it like the apps are always a mess they always like like lock you out and stuff like that just like a bunch of bs so because like so many people are on the you know more people like go on the app than going in store like because most people just want to sit at home and do it instead of like putting in footwork even though it's not hard at all like actually a lot of people do put in footwork too so i can't really say that because like a lot of people do take go other way just to go pick up a pair of jordans which is pretty crazy because like is this a gr it's nothing crazy like they're nice but they're not going for like 600 700 dollars right now they're going for about i'm allowed to get in the market hold on, let me get let me get a go over where else these are gonna be dropping Apparently they're going to be dropping at Dick Sporting Goods too. So apparently, I don't know if this is true, but apparently Dick Sporting Goods isn't, um, they're not like doing in store anymore. So like usually they usually open up the, like the sign up sheets like a week, like the Saturday before it drops. So you just go there. Um, if it's like a good shoe, like the Bread Reimagines, I remember I was the first one <laughs> at Dick's Boarding Goods. There was literally no one there. Um, and I was the first one to sign my, like sign up for the Bread Reimagines in my size. And pretty much when you sign up, you guarantee um, a pickup for next Saturday in your size. Like you're 100% getting them as long as you pick them up uh, throughout, like within like the pickup times, which is like 10 a.m., which is when they drop on sneakers through like 3 p.m. So they don't really, they really don't give you much time to pick them up because like it's almost like they want people to come get your leftovers but um like like get your pair but yeah so they're gonna be dropping at dick's boarding goods and they're also gonna be dropping at hibbit which hibbit um i have a hibbit near me so they'll definitely be dropping there but hibbit's kind of like one of those places like shoe palace the employees are a little bit eh. like they like to definitely grab early pairs and stuff like that which is just annoying but hey it is what it is but yeah, so they'll be dropping at all those places. So make sure you know to stay tuned for that. But also let's look at market. So I'm gonna pop up market real quick. Okay, this is interesting. Looking at early market, looks like a lot of people are getting backdoor pairs of these, which is crazy because like they literally have every size in stock right now. And they're not going from that much money. Like a size 10, ask is 240 on these. Last sale was 242. So I mean, dang, looking at market right now, it's looking a little bit rough on these. I'm not gonna lie. Most sizes are going for around, um, excuse me most sizes right now are going for around like 250 to like 500 dollars which like obviously a size five is ask is 500 dollars but there hasn't even been any sales in the size five so there's only two left so someone just has the market really high no one's gonna pay that for a size five but yeah realistically i see these doing i see some sizes may go at retail if not under because you know like that just how it be nowadays because like bro if early pairs are going for this cheap that's kind of rough i'm not gonna lie obviously like a size 12 and a half my size is going for four hundred dollars of course of course my size is going for the most money but yeah anyways what well, size 14 is going for last sale on a size 14 was five hundred dollars so that's crazy but um yeah anyways this pair isn't like that crazy i'm not gonna lie it's very basic it's pretty much like a panda jordan 4 nothing crazy i heard material like the material isn't like too like nice on these anyways like they're not like that nice like you know so I mean these are pretty decent honestly for me i'm going to be dropping this pair i'm not going to be copying um but if you like this pair it is definitely wearable pretty nice i do see these doing pretty decent my estimated resale for these is going to be um retail is 215 as normal so i see these doing probably 230 like some size is going for like 10 bucks over my estimated resale is 230 to 2 260 i want to say 230 to 260 i will like on release day i wonder when people take l's will prices rise or will prices go down because there'll be a lot of stock out there 
we'll just have to see but yeah that is pretty crazy how like early pairs is not like going for that crazy a couple days ago they were going for like 350 i've seen uh, like sales on like alias and goat though for like 350 400 dollars like in like you know smaller sizes like size 11 which StockX has them for like cheaper but you know people are always underselling stock x stock x people always like to dump off pairs for like really cheap like i see people dropping like i have a pair of uh emerald kobe's right now in a size 12 that i'm just kind of like sitting on because they're like my personal size but like i just been sitting on them because i hit them on retail whenever they came out like a minute ago they were going for like 350 on the release day but i ended up just holding them because they're a size 12 kobe which usually does good right now like for example people are selling i know this is, this is like off topic but like People just kind of give away their pairs kind of on StockX. Like people were selling like size 12 Kobe's in a nice colorway and they have like limited, like only like 15 left on StockX right now. People are selling them for like 260 to 250 when like this is obviously a 350, $400 shoe in the future. So it just shows you how like some people are just like really underselling their pairs right now. A lot of people be doing that. That's why people kind of say like, say like StockX kind of killed reselling, which it kind of did, you know, cause there's like a lot of people that just like don't care much and they'll just take an L on a pair or they'll just kick off their pairs for like super cheap for whatever reason i don't know if they got them like through a nike discount or they're just taking an l or if they just got like a discount if they work at a store or something but pretty ridiculous but anyways back on the white thunders nothing too crazy i see this pair doing pretty decent let me see how long this video has been real quick okay bet this video has been a little bit longer than what i wanted it to be so yeah pretty much stock numbers i gave you all stock numbers uh, make sure to you know go back in the video if you don't want well, to tell you again it's about 50k on sneakers and there's gonna be a lot of pairs in stores i bet so yeah definitely you know if you want this pair definitely go in your store because sneakers you know you can still take an l on sneakers on like a brick shoe kind of like i mean this is a nice shoe it's i don't see a bricking but in stores it might brick like you know you might see si like a pair of these like the next day or a couple days or a week later in some sizes like this pair might be sitting in store that's just my predicament i see this kind of being like a wet cement kind of but these are better than the wet cements and it looks like stock is more limited than the wet cements so we'll just have to see but yeah I, i'm just curious to see will scott will prices go up after like people take l's on sneakers or will they go down because a lot there will be a lot of pairs in store probably but we'll just have to see drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell from all sneaker info in um i do other fire videos you know it's like sneaker on sneaker events all that dope stuff so make sure to you know drop a like all that good stuff you know for more lit content and um yeah i think that's all i had to really talk about so um yeah peace also i had one more thing to say i just want to compare these uh new white thunders to the red and the yellow ones real quick the red ones let me pop up the market on the red thunders real quick okay better looking at the red thunder market it's crazy they're going for about 400 dollars in a size 12 like all sizes are hitting 400 dollars. some sizes like a five and a half um men's which is like a seven uh women's i, I see like the women's i guess like like women are paying up for that pair obviously unless you're just like a you got a really small fee as a guy but um yeah size five and a half is going for like 600 dollars. this is crazy when did these even come out they came out 2022 so not that long ago so that's pretty crazy like you know you never know these white thunders could definitely over time do some numbers like this but we'll just have to see because like i'm pretty sure there was like similar stock on the yellow ones um then like the white ones are coming out but actually i think the white ones have like more limited stock than um the red and the yellow ones i could be wrong on that because just looking at market at like just looking at market like currently seeing like the numbers which are like as i as i said like 50k that's pretty small amount like that's not that many, that's not that much but also let me look at the yellow ones real quick i'm pretty sure the yellow thunders they're just hitting like 300 dollars in most sizes and like smaller sizes doing pretty good too yeah and the yellow thunders they're hitting around 300 dollars in most sizes the size 12 is going for 290 it was going for like 300 dollars. most sizes are going for around 300 bucks which i see market probably it might help market for these white ones coming out but i'm just i'm just curious to see will it hurt market or will it help it for the red ones and the yellow ones because like the red ones and the yellows usually when they add a bunch of different colorways it can like hurt like the market on it but you never know it might help it we'll just have to see because like it is a it kind of brings like attention to the the older ones but we'll just have to see also grade school pairs of these are actually like a better bet than like the men's honestly most of the time like grabbing like grade school pairs of these is uh, like actually a better bet than grabbing men sometimes like for example military blues that just came out the grade school i had two grade school size seven i sold my sneaker event for like 160 each which like i kind of took an l on both pairs because after taxes you get them for around like 170 but like retail is like 160 so like that's pretty like you know that's not good but the only reason why i did that is because market at the time the size seven was like 140 but like market just jumped up in the military blues you know how the, they made a bunch of military blue grade schools they made like hella and look at market now on them they're hitting like 190 i'm popping on the screen 
size seven wise going for 190 that's better than bread reimagines i think they made more than bread reimagines so that's just crazy that just shows the demand on the military blues but yeah just wanted to add that into the video now i'm end off the video drop a like drop a sub all the good stuff peace